Hey guys, I guess it has been a minute since we last spoke. Welcome back to the 1KC Bloodhound Adventure. If you haven't already noticed, the channel underwent a little bit of a restructuring, so if you're at all confused by what's going on, check this video out. If not, welcome to the very first episode of Season 2. This is Lydus. I've only done one master clue, but there's no question, I've been incredibly lucky. We got the blood on on the very first master clue we completed. Today, we can't do master clues anymore, but we are not done with the collection log just yet. We're working our way towards a master tier 3rd age item, and elite clues hold the key. Fighting the Mimic is a chance reward from elite clues, and offers a role on the 3rd age drop table. So we're doing as many elite clues as possible, and hoping for the best. Alright then, Season 2, it's a fresh start. The goal is to do Elite Clues, fight the Mimic, and hopefully get a Master Tier 3rd Age piece. So, how are we doing this? Why are you looking at me? I thought you were the guy with the plan. Well, yeah, so the bad news, we're gonna need 8,750 Elite Clues to even get on drop rate. The good news? I do have a plan. Play the clip. For Season 2, we are setting our sights on a new goal. It's just a little bit crazy, it's very competitive, and we definitely need a good plan if you're gonna pull this off. We have some preparations to make. We'll be reviewing the goal in the next video, and uh, yeah, we made those preparations and we're ready to get started. So people, lend me your ears, I need your attention. The original plan was to do one challenge for the season, an overarching requirement to open the next set of chests. Collect the caskets, complete the challenge, and open the chests all at one go. Opening a set number of chests after completing a fixed goal was something we did in Season 1, and I don't really want to do that again. For this next part, I need your help. It's an ask, a really big ask, trust me I know, but we have a dream, and we're gonna do whatever it takes to get there. So we're taking on the second challenge. This challenge is crazy and can break the series, but we are going for it. For every new subscriber we get, we're gonna do an extra clue scroll. For a chance at one of these items without doing master clues, we need to do 8,000 elite clues instead. And I need your help. Subscribe to the video, share your friends, the next time we open a reward casket, it'll be at the end of the challenge. But of course, we need to set some limitations. The upper limit to this challenge is 500 elite clues, and the challenge ends whenever we do more elite clues than we have subscribers. So let's pop open that collection log and see how far we have to go. Right now, at the time of writing, we have 249 subscribers, and we have completed 205 elite clues. So, the ball's in your court, you guys decide how many elite clues we do this season. You better believe it, this is gonna lead to an epic hunt and a very massive loot tab. Let's get started. We're locking ourselves at the barrows till we breach the 1000th high score spot. It's a dynamic challenge and definitely a race against time because the end goal is a moving target. If people above me on the high score table do more runs, we're gonna have to double down and catch up. So, to be clear, the only place we can get elite clues for now is from the barrows. With one exception, which we will talk about later. So, we have to get from here to here, and we're currently ranked 5455 with a KC of 1521. Listening to myself, that's a whole bunch of numbers, but essentially, we need to double our kill count to about 3000 KC for us to occupy the rank of 1000. Here's the collection log for posterity, and we cleared our barrows loot tracker. So, we can track the new loot and see how many uniques we get. So, let's get started. Just a heads up, we're skipping a lot of the kill count and only showing final loot or if we get something cool or if something cool happens. Um, hello? So hey, future me here. We started this challenge the same time Jagash released this minigame. It's really cool when you get to experience something unique for the first time, and I was really excited. So we talked to the old man and he filled us in on what we needed to do. Essentially, we needed to kill the six brothers and retrieve something from the chest. There's a whole bunch of lore here, but it's safe to say something's coming. Five down, one to go, and we can see what all this is about. Also, this is the very first run of the challenge, and uh, one down, 1,499 to go, I guess. So I guess this is the item we're looking for. It kind of looks like a helmet, so I'm gonna call it Seventh Barrow's Brother Coming. We return the helmet to the old man, and something definitely seems to be going on. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And I guess for our troubles, we get a lamp and a map. That's an appropriate response. So it seems the lamp is 20,000 prayer XP, which is very nice and we're gonna take that. And this is the map of the crypt. Is the crypt changing? Alright, now I'm excited. But it's also time to carry on with our challenge, so let's go. Also, we resetted our loot tracker so we can track our progress, and here it is. And really cool, we have the icon helmet thingy up there. So this guy is Gunton over here, that's Varak, and that's dead. Nah, I'm just kidding. Now, about that caveat I mentioned earlier. We're also going to be hunting brutal black dragons in our downtime. 
While we're editing videos, doing work, or even playing on mobile, this is what we'll be doing. Essentially, this is just for plain efficiency. Now, while we're here, we're essentially hunting for six things. Elite clues, shards, totems, and the draconic visage, which I don't think we'll get. While elite clues are the most important drop, the totem pieces allow us to fight Scotizo, which also drops elite clues at quite a decent drop rate. So we'll be doing that later. Cool, cool. Now back to the barrels. We have our first item 10 chests in, so I like the way this is starting. Hey, first clue scroll. We haven't really talked about this yet, but from this grind, I think we're going to get around 50 clue scrolls if you're on drop rate. The clue scroll drop rate at the barrels is a 1 in 30, so if you're doing 1500 barrels chests, we should be able to get 50 clue scrolls. And we're starting our collection with a very nice 3 items. So we're going to go ahead and do this clue scroll, and if anything cool happens, you'll be sure to hear about it. The next step for our clue scroll is at the Slayer Tower, and our Slayer Ring is seeing first action. About 10 million more uses before we see the return on investment on our Slayer Ring, so let's go. The old cone is near the Slayer Tower, and if not for the welcome mat, no one will be able to find the door. Hey, look at that. The next clue step is also something we upgraded last episode. We made a lump sum 500 token payment to the boatman, so he'll take us to Dragontooth Island for free now. Clue scroll completed. Let's get back to it. Hey, an item. The iron rope swap is the most expensive item you can get from the barrels, and it's always welcome. I wasn't recording, but it looks like we have a back-to-back. -back. We pulled the two most expensive items back-to-back, -back, which is great. We're filming for posterity in case we get the back tree back, because I feel like that might be a thing. Oh, never lucky, but that's alright. And of course, when I'm not filming, I actually get something, and uh, this is the third item in four chests. I'm also pretty sure these are the three most expensive items we can get here. So that's pretty lucky, but I think it's time for a clue scroll. And the clue scroll came a full 20 chests later. Let's solve this really quick. When doing the clue scroll, I realized we missed out on one teleport for the portal nexus, so we're gonna just add that really quick. What we're looking for is the West Ardoin teleport, and there's a clue scroll spot there. It's grayed out even though we have all the runes. Uh, rune pouch. So it seems that you need the runes in your inventory and not the rune pouch, but it's okay, we have all the runes we need, so we're just gonna grab them out of the pouch. And there we go. After we add this teleport, our portal nexus is now complete. The West Ardoin teleport is a great teleport to have, because the next nearest spot is East Ardoin, which is pretty far. And clue scroll completed. Nice, you won't believe it, we got it. It's a clue scroll. We're doing the thing that gives the thing that we're looking for. I guess we just weren't paying attention. Accidents happen, you know. It was supposed to be an innocent day of fun, you know, just out in the snow. But I take my eye off the prize, just for a minute. And tragedy struck. It's gone, and we are never getting it back again. So we're gonna get our sled back, and this time we're making two. There, done and dusted. Now, if we lose one, we can just go back and get another because there's a sled spawn on the mountain. I think this is a great place to call it. We're doing our very last barrels run before we publish the episode, and this is KC... um... 1700. Between the previous episode and this one, there are a few milestones that we hit that I didn't really get to update you guys about, so we're gonna do it here. So follow me as I complete my last barrels run for the episode. We are literally 2 seconds away from getting 99 magic, and this is the first time I've done it on the game, so we're gonna have to teleport out in a minute. Big, big moment for the account. We're about to get 99 magic, and I'm really proud of this because magic is one of the hardest skills to trade. I'm here with my new friend, I don't really know his name, but I'm just gonna let him know that it's coming soon. Friend, no, you're killing the vibe. I'm just kidding, I don't have any friends. Um, yeah, so there you go, 99 magic. I'm really proud of this one. It's my very first time getting 99 magic on the game, and it's not a very easy skill to train, so this is good. The magic cape is also good to have for the spellbook swap, so we're gonna go ahead and grab that. I totally forgot we can change our spellbook at the ancient altar that we just built. But now we have the magic cape too, which is like a mini altar which we can carry in our backpack. It's a great day, we went ahead and grabbed the cape from the magic guild. The white and blue trim looks amazing, and this should come with the hood. Yeah, it comes with the hood. Nice. I did not know that happened, so it seems a special soundtrack plays when you buy the skill cape. Maybe only for the first time. And now we gotta go do the skill cape emote. It's probably a law written somewhere you need to do the emote as soon as you get the cape, otherwise they don't let you keep it. And that's my very first time doing that, it wouldn't be my last. So yeah, we got 99 magic. I'm sure you guys have noticed the skill bar right up top being completely filled. It's a little bittersweet that we're not getting any important AXP for this grind because I don't think I'll ever get 200 mil. But that's okay, we're doing it for the challenge. The other thing that we did between episodes was that uh, we missed out one more thing for our house. We mounted a Xerix talisman, so now we have easy access to those teleports. 
The Zerg's talisman is great for easy access to the chambers of Zerg, but it's also important for our clue scroll grind. From here, we can get easy access to the brutal black dragons, which we'll be doing for passive clues. And it's a really convenient teleport to have. So yeah, that pretty much sums it up. It would be nice to end with a unique or clue scroll, but you never know. Yeah, that's alright. Alright, so it looks like it's time to do our very first loot review. So, our loot tracker now looks like this. We have 1, 2, 3, 7 uniques from the Barrow's chest, and 6 clue scrolls. No, sorry, we got 8 uniques. At a drop rate of 1 in 15, we are a bit dry for items, but that's okay. We also did some runs on mobile, so we're adding 4 more elite clues to the total, but we did not get any uniques. Combining this with the loot tab in our bank, our collection of Barrow's items now look like this. We now have a total Barrow's collection of 61 mil. We're gonna keep collecting items and see how big our collection gets by the end of the challenge. So far we collected a total of 10 elite clues and the chests are in our inventory as well. High score wise, we jumped more than a thousand ranks. Starting at rank 5455, we breached the 4k mark and now sit at a rank of 3991. I need to find a better way to talk about numbers and we will work on that. We're currently at a clue count of 225 and just 24 clues away from completing the challenge. Although, it's still early days. Move the number guys. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you guys in the next one.